Hello everyone. The today video is about HTTP client versus CURL. You can say that it's a curl. So what is the difference? So in the core PHP, we are using the curl, right? So what is the syntax of this curl? So this is the, from this ARBC organization. So I'm in the GitHub repository. So there is no store, but this code is working. I uh, tested it personally, right? So here you need to first uh, fill the client ID, client secret code and stuff like that. And then you need to get the refresh token. So in our case, we got this from the postman and then you need to generate a token url and then you need to get the access token using this so initiating the curl and then uh, passing other parameter if you are sending post request then you need to send this post and then you need to get and stuff like that so hope you are familiar with this uh, curl so i use this so it's working script so you can get this so i will attach the link in the description okay let's move to the http clients so this is uh, provided by HTTP Gazelle. So this is uh, by default comes with the Laravel. So if you, let's go to the Laravel project and I have created a new project and I'm running this project. So I named this Zoho integration. So I created a fresh installation and let's go to the composer.json and check that there is a Gazelle is there. So 7.2 is there. So it's mean that by default Laravel is install this gazelle library so you don't need to do this so if you already remove this uh, from composer so then you can again install it by using this command so it's very simple okay so next next question arise that how we can send these uh, requests like get request post request and stuff like that so we are going to send these requests uh, uh, in the next video so we are going to actually use a restful apis so we are working on the zoho integration so in the previous videos we learned that how we can uh, uh, go through all of the processes like port patch through postman and we successfully did all of the steps so now we are moving further to the http client and using this http client we are going to use this in our laravel project so we are going to use this through overall all the process through the laravel so this uh, series is going very amazing so i will meet you in the series so in the series we are going to create the first token and then we are going to move further to access its resources like get post and stuff like that so i will meet you in the series so bye bye